So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Pocket RGB light from Waylight. I've been using it for a few weeks now and it has some really cool features. And at the same time, it does have some disadvantages that you should know about if you're thinking about picking one up. Full disclosure here, the manufacturers actually sent two of these units over to me for review, but they have no idea what we're gonna be saying. So I just wanna say thank you to them for sending these bad boys over. In short, this is a full color RGB pocket LED with a built-in rechargeable battery. It boasts a range of 2800 to 6800 Kelvin and has a CRI value of 95 plus with a maximum illuminance of 350 lux. This all comes in at under $30, which is insane. First up, I just wanna quickly cover what comes in the box. Obviously you get the light itself, a USB USB cable for charging and a hot shoe adapter, which I never use because hot shoe adapters are the devil. On the light itself, you'll notice there's an input for charging via USB-C, a power on switch and a thread adapter, and that's it. The rest of the features can be tweaked via Bluetooth on your smartphone. I'm not a huge fan of applications where you have to install it on your phone, but the way it works with these lights is easy. You don't have to connect it to Wi-Fi or anything like that, it just works straight over Bluetooth. In an ideal world, I would have liked another button maybe to scroll through the different settings so I didn't always need to use my phone, but hey, it's a $30 LED, so I'm okay with it not having one. With the little thread adapter on the bottom of the LED here, I can also screw this small rig adapter to it, so I can pretty much clamp it to any fixture quite easily. What was really cool about these lights is that I could just stick these in the background here and I can control them remotely and play around with the colors. It's just so handy not having to go over to the lights and change them individually. So with just one tap of the app, I can link them together to have exactly the same color output or work with them independently like so. It just gives me so much more flexibility. So let's just fire up this light and connect it to my phone so we can talk about the different modes. First up, if you want to control multiple LEDs individually, you need to select what channel you'd like the LED to be on before you power up the light. You can then control each light independently. Under your channel and grouping, you have the CCT, which essentially is your bi-color mode, so you can change it from warm to cool, and along with that, of course, you can change the brightness as well. Next up, we have the HSI, which is your hue, saturation, and intensity. This is where you'll be greeted by a hue menu where you can rotate and change the hue of the light using the wheel. And below that is another slider, so you can control the saturation, and under that is where you can change your intensity. If you don't get on with HSI, you can alternatively select your colors using the RGB WY or the XY coordinates. Or if you are that way inclined you can select your colors via the color chip menu where you can choose your colors via Roscoe or Lee settings. The next mode on the app is my favorite the FX mode. You're able to go in here and change things like candle lights or flame modes. Yep I am totally lost. If in doubt follow your nose. TV and more, you get the gist. With each of these effects presets, you can dial in the intensity depending on the different effects you're going for. The next feature on the app is the color picker. This is where you can actually use the camera on your phone to pick a color out. You can then feed that color information back to the LED. That is pretty sweet. And lastly, you can save any of your custom light settings to a scene and you can access your scenes via the final little menu here. So that is actually how you use the app in conjunction with the Waylight. And as you can see, it's really easy to get your head around. Now I have no idea if these lights are actually color accurate, but to be honest, for under $30, I'm not that bothered. They work great. I now even carry these little pocket lights with me in my camera bag, just in case I need it. I've even been using these LEDs for a little short I've been currently working on for this channel. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Unfortunately, the output on these lights aren't amazing compared to other options on the market, but for accent lights, for background, these are perfect. If you want an all-rounder LED, this isn't going to be a very good option for you as you can't really use it as a key light. I wouldn't really use this for lighting a person in a wide shot either. Might be okay for close-ups in a pinch, but you'll need a stronger light source for that. But with that, I'm probably going to go out and buy a couple more of these because of their versatility. I also think the battery life is pretty good too. I got about two hours or so out of this bad boy at full output, which was great. And that's it. Hopefully that helps you out if you're in the market for a pocket LED light. Link to the light is in the description below. If you click that link, it all helps fund this little channel. If you made it this far, that might be the universe telling you to hit that subscribe button. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Hello? Is it someone there? I seem to have misplaced my torch. I appreciate some help. Hello? <laughs> I'll just wait here. 